be taking a look at this release from Integrity Toys. It is called Ginger and Cinnamon Holiday at Home. It is the character Ginger Gilroy from the Poppy Parker collection from Integrity Toys. I actually purchased this doll last year through my membership of the W Club. If you'd like more information about that, the W Club and how you buy Integrity Toy dolls, I will link to the video where I discuss that. I've actually had this doll in my possession for quite a while, but I've been waiting for Christmas to unbox her. The packaging is very pretty, sweet, elegant. The Poppy Parker collection takes a lot of inspiration from the 60s, and I think you can see that in this release. The side of the box does make it look like a package, like a gift. And on the back of the box is the Poppy Parker logo. What I particularly love about this packaging is that you could leave it in the box and still easily display it. Uh, but the lid does come off. And I am going to take her out of this box. So here is Ginger out of her packaging. She looks gorgeous. I should start by saying that this is my one and only doll from the Poppy Parker collection. I got collecting Integrity Toy Dolls for the Gem and the Holograms collection. So when I joined the W Club last year, she was just kind of a bonus purchase for me. I actually wasn't intending to buy any of the non-gem related dolls, but I loved her accessories. I loved her Christmas theme. I really loved her outfit. Something about her is just super appealing to me. Maybe it's the red hair with the green shimmery cigarette pants, I think they were called in the 60s. They're like capri length pants. Whatever it is, her whole vibe is what really sold me on getting her. So let's get in to the accessories. First off, she comes with this certificate of authenticity, letting you know which number edition that you have. Every Integrity Toys release is a limited edition. These are her little shoes, these little slip-on kind of kitten heels, backless, cute little bows. I love this shade of green. And you can see the soles of the shoes. Looks like some type of faux leather. And then of course the rest of the shoe is fabric. I love the Integrity Toy shoes. She came with quite a few pieces of jewelry. She's got gold loop earrings. She's got three bracelets. We've got kind of a charm bracelet here and two bangles. And then this adorable little pin, which has a magnetic back, so you can place it on her top. She has a cute little mug of cocoa with marshmallows. And then probably my favorite piece is the record player, which came with these legs. You can detach the legs. It's got a little side handle, and then it does open. We have the Poppy Parker initials, and you can see the details in the molded plastic. The needle arm is not actually secured in here, um, so you do have to be careful. It does come off, but it is movable, which is super cute. Uh, and it's got molded details with knobs and the faux speaker front. Love the detail on this piece. She came with three Christmas themed albums. I love the designs of the jackets. They do list songs on the back. Some of them are real, some of them I think they made up. And there are little albums inside each jacket. Isn't that cute? And then of course you can place the record on the record player. Now this ginger doll also came with a second set of hands. You can see her fingernails are painted. It looks like to me like a shade of pinkish red. Now let's talk about this creature. This is cinnamon. I think, I hope, this is supposed to be a stuffed animal, not an actual real dog. It does have a little collar with a little metal charm. I don't know, to me it looks more like perhaps an Ewok or a relative of Cousin It or a baby Wookiee. Uh, it does not look like a dog at all to me. I think it's just a baby Wookiee. 
But what do you think? Let me know by commenting below. Now taking a closer look at the doll herself. She has a really pretty face sculpt and beautiful makeup. I love her lip, it's like a corally pink, I think. Her hair is a shiny, perfectly coiffed shade of red. I love the little green bow in her hair. And like all Integrity Toy dolls, she does have rooted eyelashes. She does come with a doll stand. It is a white base with a silver Poppy Parker logo. Her outfit includes a mid-drift bearing top. It's a satiny material with this faux fur trim around the bottom hem. She's wearing these fitted capri length pants. Again, I said, I think they're called cigarette pants. And they're this beautiful shimmery green material. They have clasps in the back as does the top. Here are the hands she comes wearing, and you can see, maybe it's more of like a coral pinky red nail polish. And she has the same color on her toes. And as you can see, she has flat feet. Our Integrity Toy dolls are very articulated, so she does have movement at the neck, the upper torso, the shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, and ankle. Here she is all put together. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous! So needless to say, I'm very pleased with my purchase. I very much enjoy her look. I don't know if I'm gonna collect any more Poppy Parkers. I did not renew my membership with VW Club in 2021, so I haven't purchased any IT dolls this year at all. I have been much more focused on Rainbow High, in case you haven't noticed from my channel. But I do really enjoy Integrity Toys. They're not for everybody. The aesthetic is not everybody's aesthetic. As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Please comment below.